Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome my dear students. So what is Doll E? So Doll E is actually a company made by OpenAI as you can see here is their logo OpenAI by the Sam Altman company funded by Microsoft, Elon Musk and who not. So this is a company which is really cool in putting AI into the main consumers like you and me. So what do they do? So actually you can have any text in your head and you will get a picture in its response. It's like a text to image AI. For example, if you have in your head something like Marlon Monroe in a very beautiful clothes, looking beautiful, looking in the camera and blah blah blah. This is the prompt probably that you're going to get from Doll E if you have hit everything properly. We are going to work on that later. I'll show you how to do that. Then if you have a prompt like I want a cat or a dog or anything like that, it should look smart and it should have a tie, something like that. And you may or may not add glasses, but AI may add glasses and it may look smart because according to AI, putting glasses to something may look, may make it look smarter and better and whatnot. Then you have another prompt where you say, okay, Marlon Monroe in a city kind of an environment, the backdrop should be pop art and she should be wearing something what young girls or Gen Z's are wearing in their 20s. She should look young, she should be looking confident and blah, blah, blah. And this is exactly the prompt that you get. It's that easy to do it. Not only that, actually, but if you see the backdrop that I'm using for this presentation, it was also created by an AI, but not Dolly, some different kind of an AI. So I'm all surrounded by AI, 100%. So we can use Dolly for a bunch of stuff. It's really easy to use. I'm going to show you how you do that, why you do that, when you do that. And I think we should really start with it. Let's do it. So now we are into how are we going to do with Dolly? Like we know what is Dolly. We know all of that. We know why Dolly, all of that. But how can you actually get your hands on Dolly? The reason why you are watching me right now. How do you get your hands on this tool so you can create images like this and this and this anytime at the click of your finger? How can you use this tool called Doll E, which sounds so weird because it has a doll and then a hyphen and then an E? How can you use that so you can create? these images and impress people who are important to you in your life? Well, the answer is really simple. You got to have something like the Google Bing, I'm sorry, the Microsoft Bing browser. So I have a Microsoft browser as you can see that's my account here, Manas hey there. And I have this browser and I have my picture here as well. So you need to have a browser called the Microsoft Bing. I know most of, 99% of you use Chrome or Firefox or whatever or Brave or Safari but you need to have a browser which is called the Microsoft Bing browser in order to use Doll E. Okay, so that is the condition. That is how it works. So you need to have that and once you have that you need to sign up in order to use it because with only Bing browser things like Doll E and the GPT comes free no matter what and in a day you get 90 actually 100 credits I used four of them so I've left with 96 you get 96 credit basically means around 96 images at least and you can have images like this and 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 this, and this. just remember always remember sometimes your prompt is not going to be entertained by the AI because it thinks it is derogatory or it is not fair or unsafe whatever it might not be the scenario but because AI is a little judgmental and a little you can call AI a little racist in some ways or maybe not racist maybe it's been programmed that way to play a little safe game in the beginning because we're in the beginning of AI and AI doesn't want to harm any one of us either physically mentally emotionally socially whatever and because most of them are american companies so they want to play a little safe in the beginning like microsoft so some of your prompts may not be entertained not to worry do it again and you will see good results from your side so this is how it goes this is how you use uh, the doll ethering 
for free while other people are paying for it on GPT you use it for free because you have taken the right course so you enjoy the benefits by the way this is a nice picture a musical festival with colorful lasers confetti and a huge dancing crowd let me show you how the AI reacts to this so it's a musical festival it's a musical festival because there's stage and people so that's the first check then we have colorful lasers you guys you can see lasers green blue red here there everywhere then you have confetti you can see confetti here and then on a huge dancing crowd that's a huge dancing crowd that's a well done job by AI we need to applaud it for that well done so we are going to work a lot with that but always remember respect AI get respect from AI and we're going to have a lot of fun with Dolly let's do it